Not many people know that you can actually save a transparent background on Canva without Canva Pro. So you can save transparency for free using PDFs. And so we have a element here that has a transparent background. It's basically cut out or it's kind of like a graphic. And then we do need to make sure our background itself is colored white. So that is color plus and then all Fs. You want it to be white. Anything white will be transparent. And so this uh, this element here and this background will save with transparency if we go to the download button up here and we go to download and then instead of PNG we're going to switch to PDF standard and in PDF standard we have uh, to make sure that flatten PDF is not check marked do not have that check marked or it will flatten everything and then we can hit download now on Canva mobile that's going to download to your files uh, this little share window pops up. You don't necessarily need that unless you want to take it to some other app. We're going to exit out of that. And so it's going to go to our files and our downloads, whatever your downloads are on your phone, it'll go there. So we can exit. I'm going to swipe up and then just swipe down in the middle of the screen to then search for files. I'm just going to navigate to files here on my iPhone. So once I'm inside of files, I can double click and find my downloads. I've got this PDF right here, right? So this untitled design PDF. Now this PDF has a transparent background. So I can actually import this PDF into basically any different um, photo editing software or graphics makers that I want to. If I import it back into Canva, it's kind of like importing a project back in. Uh, so it's really kind of the same as whatever you've had in Canva already. But if you want a transparent background without having to have Canva, Canva Pro, this is how you can do it. And so if I were to swipe back away and go back to Canva, and let's say that I were to go to a different project, maybe this one, and I wanted to add that uh, transparent graphic into here, I would maybe click to add a new page first, and then click off so I can see these options at the bottom until I find projects. And I can look up other projects. So this is the project that we created originally where we exported that PDF from. But if we want to, we can actually go to Uploads, and we can go to Upload Files, and Choose Files, and I can find that project right here in my Downloads, and then I can open that. And you won't see it in here because it actually goes to Projects. So Canva, when you upload a PDF, it sees it as a project. And so we're going to click on Projects, and you can see here I've got Untitled Design.pdf.pdf. So this design right here is that same design with all the layers and all of the transparent elements included. So now I brought this design into another one and I did the new page because it replaces whatever the page is that we're on. And we can do whatever we want with this design. We can take it to other pages if we want. Um, but I just wanted to show you it still brings in that transparent background uh, even as we saved that as a PDF. And so there's different ways that you can utilize this depending on what you're trying to download transparent background for, but downloading as a PDF will keep the transparency as long as you don't flatten it, and you can use it however you want after that. So that's how you can download with transparency or save with transparency uh, here on Canva without using Canva Pro.